Hello, this is Jeff Quinton TV, and yes, I'm your host, Jeff Quinton. Welcome back to my blog. Today, I want to talk to you about an important topic, uh, a topic that I'm asked about all the time when talking to clients. And right now, the most common, one of the most common uh, questions I'm getting is, is this the right time to sell? Is this the time I should sell? I need to get a certain price for the property, and can I get that right now, or do I need to hold and wait and see how much time is going to take to actually get my price? So it's always a battle. And by the way, guys, you know, this, this market, we hit peak in around 2006, roughly. Um, 2007, 8, 9, 10, things have gone down. 10, 11, 12, 13, things have kind of been bumping along at the bottom here, okay? We're not seeing a, a huge dip in, in, in decline. We're not seeing any appreciation really at all in most markets um, overall. So we've been in this long run from the peak all the way down to where we are. So everyone says, you know, when can I sell to get my price or what they feel is a good price? What's interesting in this market today is most sellers between what a buyer sees value and what the seller see value or what we as real estate agents determine and interpret the value, most sellers today are about 10% overvalued. That's what we're finding. If a home is worth 500 or we're recommending a 499, sellers are saying, no, 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 I want 550. They're always about 10% off for some reason. I don't know what that's all about, but that's between homeowners and buyers. That's what they see. Again, as agents, we're just going to do to interpret what the market's doing. So getting back to, um, do I sell, do I hold, uh, and how much time? On my website right now, if you go to jeffquinton.com, and I'm gonna go ahead and put a link in here, you certainly can go to the tools. It says on here on my website, there's a, a button to the right, tools, uh, info, and videos. If you actually um, scroll down below that, uh, or in the drop down box, you're gonna see there's a property evaluator calculator in there, okay? And what this is going to allow you to do is you're going to allow you to put in here estimated property value, what you feel that the property is worth, or if I wanted to put in here what I felt the property is worth. Um, basically, it's going, to, it's going to allow you to see if you're wanting to hold the property or if you're going to sell. Okay, This is going to be a complete cash flow analysis for you, for you to determine if it's the right time. So what you're going to plug in here is you're going to find out it's going to say years of wanting to hang on to the property. So if you're looking to hang the property for two years, three years, whatever it may be, you're going to plug that in there. Estimated home value. We're going to put in there the annual cost to own this property. Okay. And what that's going to look like is, you know, monthly fees as far as HOA, condominium fee. And if not a condominium fee, you still have other maintenance that's going on. Plug that in here. So I'm going to go over this scenario with you real quick on a client that I had a conversation with today. This client wasn't sure about selling. Okay. Because the price is not where they want it. We plugged it in. Okay, let's assume that you're going to hold out then for three years to sell the property. We put in here $500,000 is the actual estimate what I felt the property is worth. We put in here that the monthly cost to hold it is 100 bucks. Okay, there is no condo fee, but we put $100 in there just for regular little maintenance. We put in here annual insurance, $2,500. Taxes, $4,000. Monthly mortgage payment, $2,000. So the total annual cost to hold the property is $31,700. At the bottom, this, this specific seller does rent the property. They got $22,000 gross income, management fee for us to handle it, produce the rentals, 12%. Miscellaneous expenses, gas, electric, water, sewer, cable, all the things just to maintenance, uh, landscaping, whatever. Per year, you got 5,000 bucks. And so you have a total of net rental income of 14,380. So I plugged in here, okay. What is it going to cost you to own this property for the next three years? Well, after mortgage, everything else going on, it's going to cost them $95,100 to carry the property. They're going to, get to receive a net rental income of $43,080. That means in the next three years, this, this property is going to have a negative cash flow of $52,000. So how does this equate? Well, right now if the property today had a zero appreciation and you held on to it for, say, three, you know, three years, it would be like instead of selling it today for five hundred thousand, if you held out and you had no appreciation, it would be like selling it then for four hundred and forty-seven thousand. Okay, you can come in here and you can put appreciation because you're going to bet against. You know, do I sell today or do I wait the market out and hope that it's going to go up? So let's just put in the market. You know, let's just say the market appreciated, you know, roughly three percent or so. Okay, and ultimately, if it uh, if it appreciated by three percent. This is going to tell me, and again, this is 3% each year. So in other words, it's got to go up by 3% this year, 3% next year, 3% after that. Even if the market was to do that, they still, 
it would realize that the property value today would be like selling it for four hundred ninety-five thousand three years from now. And that is if the market went up by three percent. That means fifteen thousand next year, fifteen thousand next year after that, and after that. So the reality is, guys, we're not seeing any appreciation, and they still would not be able to sell the property, you know, three years from now more than they get could could get today. So it's a real interesting uh, way to look at it. I encourage you guys to go to my website. I'll put the link here. Do this analysis for yourself. Check it out. Plug the numbers in to see if it's the right time for you to sell now or if you want to hold and wait it out and bank upon, you know, if there's going to be any appreciation. Hopefully this has been helpful. Any questions you have, give me a call. Anyone you know that uh, looking to buy, sell, or invest or having trouble selling their home here that you can refer, we always appreciate it. You can email me back or call me at 609-398-5333. Hope all is well.